Hi, let's solve for the value of k. You are welcome to my channel, and today we are asked to solve for this. Let's do it together, please. Okay, now look at what we have k multiplied by k multiplied by k is simply 3k, it's simply k to the power of 3, right? So we can write that k to the power of 3 plus k is equal to 10. Now let's transfer this to the other side. So we have k to the power of 3 plus k minus 10 is equal to 0. Now when you look at this, notice that we have formed the cubic polynomial, all right? So we have formed cubic polynomial. That means we are going to solve this as a polynomial. Now to solve this, I like a particular method. There's this particular method I normally use, okay? And I would like you to just join me in it. So we are going to do try and error first to pick the values of k that will uh, that is going to satisfy this equation and that value of k is 2 okay like i said by trial and error so that means by this time you must have tried your 1 your minus 1 then your 2 then your minus 2 okay so when you get to 2 it's going to satisfy it because if we say 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 minus 10 is equal to 0 let's see if this is true now 2 to the power of 3 is 8 right so we have 8 plus 2 minus 10 is equal to 0. Well, it's obvious because all we have here is 10 minus 10 is equal to 0. So that means that we can actually say that our k is equal to 2, right? So we are going to write that down first. So we say k is equal to 2. And this implies that k minus 2, that is this plus 2 we cross become minus 2 is equal to 0. All right. Now, what do we do next? The next thing we are, we are supposed to do now is to go ahead and divide what we have here synthetically. So this is how synthetic division works. You draw your line. We use this two. Now, this is k to the power of three. The coefficient is one, right? So we write that one down. Now, we're supposed to have k squared before k. So that simply means that k squared is zero. And if anything is zero, it means the coefficient is zero. So don't forget to write that. Then we have k. Now k is 1. The coefficient is 1. And our constant is minus 10. Then we are going to bring down the first number, which is 1. Then we 2 multiplied by 1, we give us 2. So we are going to write it here. Now we add 0 plus 2, we give us 2. 2 multiplied by 2, we give us 4. 1 plus 4, we give us 5. 2 multiplied by 5, we give us 10. Minus 10 plus 10, we give us 0. Okay? So with this, we have formed the quadratic equation. Now, this is how you form the quadratic equation from here. Meanwhile, if you really want to watch a full tutorial on how to solve cubic polynomials, I have a video in this channel. So I'll ask you to just go through the channel. Just search for it. It's really not that far. Okay? And then you are going to see different ways of solving quadratic um cubic polynomials so back to what we are doing now we have that k minus 2 right is equal to 0 so let's write that then this is going to form our quadratic equation so that means we have 1k squared so we have k squared we call that quadratic equation starts with what square so k squared plus 2k plus 2k plus 5 okay everything is equal to zero all right now we have that from here that k minus two is equal to zero right or that k squared plus two k plus five is equal to zero now from the first equation we can say that k is equal to zero plus two because minus two we cross to become plus two so 0 plus 2 will give us 2. So this is the first value of our k. Now when you look at this, we cannot solve this quadratically, right? Use, uh, sorry, you cannot solve this by factorization. So let's use a quadratic equation formula to do that. Now what do we do? According to the quadratic equation formula, k should be equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac everything divided by 2a okay all right now we solve we have that k 
is equal to now our a is going to be the coefficient of let me write it out our a is coefficient of k squared which is one our b is coefficient of k which is two and our c is our constant which is five all right now we can write that k is equal to minus two right that is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared that is 2 squared, which we give us 4, minus 4ac. Four that is 4 multiplied by a multiplied by c. So 4 times 1 times 5, which will give us 20, right? So we have 20 divided by 2a. That is 2 times 1, which will give us 2. So we have that k is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 16 divided by 2. Okay, if this is the first time, is this really the first time you are coming across this lovely channel? Please subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell. Yes, so that you don't miss our amazing videos. Okay, all right. Now let's go ahead and solve. So I'm going to draw my line right now. So we have that k is equal to so we have minus 2 plus or minus. So this same thing as square root of 16 multiplied by square root of minus 1, okay, divided by 2. So we now have that k is equal to minus 2 plus or minus. Now square root of 16 is 4, right? So we are going to have 4 and we have i here divided by 2. Now, this can be written as minus 2 divided by 2 plus or minus 4i divided by 2 as well. So, we go ahead and solve. So, our k is equal to, we are going to have minus 1 here, plus or minus 2, we divide this, we have 2. So, we have 2i, okay? So, that means that the second value of k is going to be equal to minus 1 plus uh, plus 2i, right? And the third value of k will give us minus 1 plus uh, minus 2i. So these are the three values of k. Now we can actually test or check what we've done using the real value of k, which is what? 2. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's check. Let's check. So we have k to the power of 3 plus k is equal to 10, right? Now, the, we said that k is equal to 2. So we have 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 is equal to 10. Now, 2 to the power of 3 is what? 8. So we have 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. That means that 10 is equal to 10. And this is correct. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day.